Hello and welcome to part two of Think Like a Champion on the Pox on Us Game Channel. Part one was on my main channel. If you missed it, go check that out first and then come over here after. We uh, just learned about being good at the game. And now we're going to learn about being good at the game even more on Coastline. What a great map for solo queuing ranked. Now, I am currently Diamond 5. Uh, with champion hidden MMR, so I'm playing champion ranked, and I'm going to take you through all my thoughts on uh, what I think to do to be good at game. What I think to be do, do be good at game. This one's going to be a little more chill than the video on my main channel. I will try to talk about as much as I can for you, uh, but it will be a little more fun, hopefully. A little more fun. Hopefully we win this one. I think we are going to win this one now. I'm, I'm a little warmed up, you know. Q and ranked at 8 in the morning is kind of a crazy play. I wish we banned Ying. I think Ying is really just really strong overall. Now, you know what? Screw it. We don't need to ban Ying. Let's play Ying. Because Ying is strong overall, and she's great on her own. Nobody's going to play Warden. Let's ban Fenrir. So I can just fly in there without having to get blind. Thinking about uh, like what you're going to do, even right from, right from the ban phase. Just thinking about, I'm on attack. They're probably going to be Hookah. What do I want to do? Maybe I'll fly into Hookah Door with the Yings and try to take cool, like that vase area. Could go... Uh, through penthouse with like uh, like an ace or something or ace on the roof ace on the roof is great actually this is this is the one map where you're able to just not enter the building and be very very strong and i'm going to show you why right now i'm going to go to the roof with ace i'm going to open up the quad wall and then i'm just going to try and like lock down the site basically you can cut the site in half from the roof so by opening the quad wall, you can see into pink bar. And if you can see into pink bar, they can't sit there. Then they also can't sit in billiards because you can see that as well. So you're, you're, you're just breaking an entire line of sight through the site in half from the roof. And you can sit there and hold that even while your team's planting. You can hold the pushes up. So if you can get that and then convince your team to take Aqua, you've basically guaranteed a round win. Now, you do have to make sure they don't shoot your aces off the wall. And there's there are some complications to it. But most of the time, it's a very effective strategy, okay? Now, I could be saving my drone right now. We're going to know their hookah. I just want to maybe see who they've got. And there we go. I scanned the entire team. <laughs> now, Twitch could also be great here because I could get all the goyos. I could get the thorn traps, get the wamidas, get the thunderbird stations, get the... I can literally destroy everything with Twitch. Uh, so that could also be a good pick. We have a Maverick for some reason. Uh, Maverick is not getting anything on this map, so I am very confused by that. But it's fine. I mean, I, I could also, like, open up the comms right now and say, hey, do you guys want to go Aqua? I'm going to try to open the quad wall. Response? Make your way to its location. Nothing. Okay, nice. So, sure, sure, nice. Do you guys want to take the bomb? Watch respawn peaks. I didn't, but you probably should. Would be a good move. And then I'm just going to bait on the roof like a good boy. Now, I like to throw this little drone up here. Oh, not like that. They're running up here first, us. just to see where they're at. Was Goyo. See if they're actually watching this. Sometimes you get free picks on people like sitting in luggage or peeking the roof, being stupid. So getting a little bit of info is nice, uh, but it doesn't look like they've got anyone watching this. Now, we could use the nice little guidelines to throw these, but I don't think we really need to. Throw all three at the same time, why not? I also pop this Goyo so they can't actually peek to shoot it, which is nice. And now I will join the bomb site. Goyo's in sunrise right now. Now let's take a look. Oh, see there camp's cool and there's He's nobody out. pink. So now again, they can't sit in pink. One's in kitchen. He's in bathroom. There's two downstairs right now. Now what I'm going to do is actually open up this wall as well to watch if they walk into blue bar. That way I can stop them from C4ing underneath a bit. Now, if you watched the last episode, I ran out of ammo, so I want to try not to do that this game. Definitely trying to learn from the mistakes here. I have your blue bar entrance. Once they try to go to C4. Yeah, two are underneath. Falk's downstairs. Can you guys plant? I got your uh, luggage flank. Let me get the ace. 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 Hey, hey. All right, I'm holding luggage IQ. still, Can I have so. The ace, please? IQ, can I have the ace? Oh, oh, and I cannot cover this from the roof, so I want to make sure I'm in a position where I can actually cover this from the roof. Some door. And he got the ace. Let's go, baby. Big ace. Big ace from the boys. Now, this is the guy we were actually playing against last game, uh, who was kind of cracked. I actually thought he was cheating for a second because he was just so nasty. Um, so it's nice to have him on the team because that basically says, hey, we're probably going to win because this guy's really good. 
And if you have two people who are really good, you're good to go. Um, so that's a nice strat. You know, I didn't really do much, but I did add a lot of pressure to the defense, and that's sometimes that's more than enough to actually uh, get the round win. And it was nice that my teammates are actually working with me rather than just spewing nonsense into the mic like they are the other half of the time. Okay, so they're probably going to go back there. Honestly, I didn't do anything. I literally just sat on the roof. I could probably do that exact same thing again and actually collect some kills this time because they might try to counter by being over aggressive on the roof or even uh trying to peek and shoot the aces off and actually their counter is going kitchen so that's fine we can uh, we can adjust for that now i'm gonna actually sacrifice my drone here i do want to know who they're who they're playing because i'm gonna try to just completely counter pick them which is good because now i see they have a warden so i should not go ying uh and they have a frost lesion mozzie i'm gonna play Deimos. i think Deimos might be a good pick here or even ram i could ram above or even fuse above Let's go Fuse. Let's do a little Fuse strat up top. This is one of the only sites I'll play Fuse on because I think it's Ten seconds that most sites he's just just he's just he's risky and not use, as useful as he could be. But Coastline Kitchen is one where he is really strong, especially since you can Fuse the outside wall, which you'll see in a second. You can Fuse the outside VIP wall, and it will open up all the floor with the cluster charges, and then you can do it again, and it will shoot the cluster charges through the floor that you've already, the floor holes you've already made with it. So fusing the outer wall is pretty sick. I should have brought breach charges so I could make vert, but we got the buck, so hopefully it'll be all right. As long as you know what you're able to achieve by yourself, then you're able to kind of float around and make decisions based off what you don't know or what you don't, what you aren't able to do. Um, so here we're gonna try to fuse this. Hopefully I don't get wall bang. You just did that. Fuse this one more time. Can you buck into VIP here? I can go. All right, my teammates are working really well with me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that to my advantage. I put my fuse charge down too early, so it got broke by my other fuse. One bathroom. I'm not seeing him in pen. Yeah, pen's good. He's in VIP right in front of the rotate. One main lobby, one main lobby. Main lobby is uh, Mozzie, that's, like 5 HP. That's the laser. I'll try to fuse the stuff off kitchen. One bathroom, window one window here. Lobby. I do have to be aware oh, of my flank here. I can fuse the bathroom guy if you give me a sec. There's no one in theater. In oh, unfortunate. Not on the drones. Okay. Well, now we know they won't watch drones, but at least they're still working with us. So we'll, we'll use that there as we can. We'll use that as we can. I probably should have pushed this drone up to 90, honestly, and asked them to watch it. Uh, but I thought maybe my Ash had some sort of info or had some reason she was on big window still. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of playing off my teammates a little too much and should be a little more self-sufficient. That's another problem with Fuse is you can't. You can't gather information for yourself. It is a little risky trying to actually get those clusters down. Um, and I paid for it with my life right there. So we do have a baiting ash bean on the roof. Uh, so be aware of who's going to do what. Papa Smurf is probably not going to play aggressive. Now I know that. Uh, this buck, really good at following direction and working with me. And then this guy, this other guy just plays Mav every round, which is really weird. And then this Osa is actually really, really good. So maybe if I go with this Osa the next round, try to work with him, it might be a little better. Can you pick up our teammate, dog? The darkness. I don't know why he's just letting you die. All friendlies have been eliminated. Really strange, just typical Ashman though. I mean, sitting on the roof of lobby with a minute left and baiting for kills. So that's all good. Let's not focus on him. He's not helping us. Um, let's not worry about it. I'm gonna work with this Osa and see. See what he's gonna do. Um, they're gonna be hook again. I'll probably just go with him with like a nomad or something, and then we can get this bomb down. That way, I can air jab off our flank. I can air jab off uh, like the site rotate, the push up. Yo, oh, so you want to go uh, aqua with me again? I can like air jab our flank and shit. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe he doesn't like me. Maybe he changes mind about me. I don't know. I could go ace on the roof. I mean, that's a very, like, well-rounded strat. I got an AK-12. I can make, kind of decide where I want to go from the roof, which is nice. I think this Osa might come around. He might come around. Should I, should I bet on it? I can always just take this by myself as well. Now, we got a Legion and a Frost again. Hmm. All right, well, I'm just going to go back to the ace plan. Plan A, plan A. Go to the roof, open up the walls. 
get info and try to get picks off the information. Having this drone underneath is good so that we can go for a plant if we need to later. They brought a mute this time, which I find is interesting. I'm gonna drop the case for the OSA. I'm going right back to the roof. Now we will watch for the sponsor this time like we should have the first time. Got that default cam. Taking out the defaults is really important too because then they have to actively watch that area with a person if they don't have the cams for it, right? Now let's watch for this guy to peek. Try and shoot the ace. Oh, that's muted, okay. So their counter was a mute, which is not gonna work very well if I ace the top of the wall. Especially if he goes to peek it, like that. So, very easy way to get a kill, just almost baiting in a way. Can we get the uh, mutes off the main wall? Might be able to shoot this from the big window. I'll try. This is a little risky. Uh, make sure you shoot the defaults if your teammates don't. Something you want to be aware of. Oh, they made that metal. That's a new up. That's a new change. All right. Well, I can open the other side now, which is nice. I can hold that rotate in and out. Do have to be careful of aggressive players. And let's just actually take a look at what's going on inside. I think I missed that drone. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, it's actually going to be probably muted on full lives. Might be a little tough. Yeah, it is muted. Oh, it's muted on base. I'm actually, I'm chilling. One's in hookah, and then one's 90. It's lesion. I'm holding this lesion if he rotates back. You think we can go for an aqua plant? I'm inside. I just... All right, I'm coming. I'm coming to cover. You're good. You're good. Over rotate for me if you can. Yeah, I got it. Well, one hookah door, one Punting. sunrise window, and a Rooney with hookah rotate. Punting, punting. Four last operator standing. Last one coming up cool. Nice calls, man. All right. Good, good work, good work. We had the cover. See, and again, that Osa, that Osa. We're working off that Osa because he's the one that knows what he's doing. You know, he knows if you plant, you're going to win the round. So he's the one trying to get in there and go for the plant. So I'm going to get in there and try to help him. I'm like, can we plant? He's like, I need cover. I got you, bro. You know, just little duo strats is enough to win. So if you can find even just one person, even if it's someone you queue with, not just someone you find randomly in your game. Like if I wanted, I could be like, hey man, do you want to queue up right now? You want to you play together? You want to duo queue? And then we would be off to the races winning every single game. Because as you see, we're nine and two combined. And we're working together to actually win those rounds. So making friends with your teammates that are good, definitely a great strategy. Let's play some Legion. Lots of info, good gun. Um, shotgun for the rotate so we can do the site setup. We have impact so you can kind of make some plays if they bring like shields, you're ready to counter it. It's good to pick operators that are just very well versed, like very versatile and very um, good for making decisions as you go. Unless you have a plan ahead of time. Like when you don't have a plan, you want to make sure you're picking ops like Legion or Info or someone that you can, some that you can decide what to do later on. But if you do have a plan, like let's say I want to hold Aqua, then I'm gonna pick an operator for that job, which might be like an Aruni, or it might be someone with a shield, or a Wamai, or a Jaeger, where maybe I'm sitting behind the bar and putting some ADSs down, right? So it's it's I have a purpose for the position, or I have a overall solid operator that can provide more info, uh, so I can make plays later. So it's just a, it, there's two kind of those two different styles, but they both are very successful, and it's good to be able to switch up between the two. Oh, not what I wanted, but that's fine. I just got to be careful of like wall bangs and stuff. Information with cool vibes. Don't waste your impact. I got it, buddy. Maybe a good mind for the walk into the, the door afterward. Yeah, a little early. We do have the Malusi, so I didn't need to put the good mind there. Now I'll probably just play this passively and swing off the sound of the Malusi because I, I don't need to peek it. They're going to be holding long angles. They're going to have the advantage. If I peek this, there's a pretty good chance I lose One the gunfight and die. Out. Left side. But if I hold it like this, it should be chilling. Oh, right side. Do have to be Left wary side. of getting flashbang now. What if they go to push him off the They're flashbang? They're in aqua. They put, put a little pixel. Oh. My luggage. And see, see, it was not a good idea. I said it was a bad idea, and that's proof right there. I just wanted you to know that it was a bad I'm idea. Be my and then you see our whole team is dead. One luggage. Just He's from um, just from peeking everything when we don't need to. They didn't enter All the building and they killed everyone. That's 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 the problem. 
That's the problem, is they didn't enter the building and everybody died. So, I mean, at the point where I peaked, we were losing people and I felt like we had to alleviate the pressure somehow, but I think that was too, it was a little too aggressive. I could have got up on the hookah door and wide swung him. That way he's not able to just slam me off a pixel like that because he did have info. He droned me out. He knew exactly where I was. It was a little silly. It was a little silly. Goyo could be good here just for like stopping all the pushes into the building real quick, but I feel like they might just bait again. So honestly, we're going to have to, we're going to have to try to, because if they all bait my teammates all swing, all my teams are teammates are going to die. It's going to be a 1v5. So I have to try to even maybe get more aggressive to alleviate that pressure sooner before my team is dead, which could also end up with just me dying, and then we just lose around after that. So it's kind of like this prisoner's dilemma in a way where it's like, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what I should do. Hope for the best, honestly. That's kind of where we're at right now. Hope that my teammates maybe win their gunfights or don't get slammed. And if they all do, they all do. What can you do, you know? I am going to put a little Goyo on this as well. So the Goyos on the barricades, it's a way to make the Goyos useful without having to actively shoot them. That way, if they try to rush site, if they try to rush service or even open service door or open kitchen window, they then have to wait 20 seconds. That gives me time to rotate back to site and my teammates aren't going to get slaughtered in the first 20 seconds of the round, essentially. Plus, they only go up once they actually open the barricade. So if they drone first and then open it, you know, we're wasting like 40, 50 seconds. That's like the first minute that I don't have to really worry about it. Do you want to make some feet holes just so I can see if they walk in here? Oh. Hey, this is Tim. He's in blue bar already. Okay, well, unfortunate. We had no info. Our teammates are not on cams, and they did decide to push hella quick this time. Having three or four people in the bomb site on this is really not good. You definitely only want one person on site on this map. Just because the map's so small, if you give them everything for free, they are pinching you insanely fast. Uh, and as you can see right there, I probably should have barricaded that door. If I was going to play Sunrise, what I should have really done is barricade the blue bar door and put a Goyo on it to, to stop that from happening. Kitchen door, Finka. Oh, yeah. But instead, I used them on site. Planning to play site, but then when we had no one on site, blocked into site, two of them. Two of them locked in. Guy knows who you are. Dude, I'm telling I've been getting shit on all fucking game, bro. Like, I don't know. He knows who you I mean, are. I could give him some you suggestions. He's playing Tachanka and Maverick. I don't think Tachanka or Maverick are good on I don't okay, firstly I think Tachanka's horrible in general. Especially on a, a map like this. Uh, but Maverick on coastline also the the utility is not providing anything. So I would recommend bringing utility that allows you to be more useful and using that utility you can get kills like adding pressure to the site acing a wall and shooting the guys trying to shoot the h charge etc like there's a lot of really good utility in this game and if you're picking utility that you're not able to achieve anything with then you're relying entirely on winning gunfights which is not ideal now i think i need to play smoke or something that um malusi smoke well, Lucy might be good with the ACOG, but I think I just need to be able to, like, make plays, and I think Smoke is one of the best playmakers on the defense. So I'm going to pick Smoke. We need to win this round to push overtime, but it's we are getting absolutely shit on right now on our defenses, so something's got to change, and if it doesn't, we lose. And honestly, there's not a lot I can do besides just be better. Right now, it's like, I got to kill people. I've, I've been getting shit on. I've been getting, uh, like, both times I've just got shit on. So let's try to not get shit on, this thing, this thing sucks. and we'll be chilling. Yeah, it has. It's gotta do my best. Defense is like you gotta hope your team does good because you can't you can't do everything by yourself on defense. On attack, you can make big plays. You can get into the site. You can make big plays that win you rounds. But on defense, it's uh it's not quite that simple, right? Because you can only hold one thing. If they rush the site right now and I and I'm playing over in VIP, I'm gonna have to retake. That's gonna be more difficult than than uh if they push vip like one guy push vip and i shock him in the chest it's a free kill you know if they push over here i can waste time i might be able to get a pick or two um and they're pushing into me whereas i'm i'm gonna try to be retaking with like a shotgun you know i don't think they're coming vip I am going to play over here for a little bit. Can we get some more info? Nice. And we got the first pick. That's really big. That was main window. There's nothing VIP side. 
I'm going to barricade this up and rotate back to site. Just so we have the info if they're coming over here. Reloading. I'm good to rotate back to site because this guy's top white. Uh, I'm actually going to flank this because... Aquarium, Aquarium. It's looking sketchy going through site with everything open like that. Just wait here. There's no rush. They're holding. I'm gonna wait till they go for a plant to do this. Oh, there's no drone on me. Main window. That's big window. Thank you so much, y'all. Can I get a hill? Reload. Where you at, dog? Dude, I'm over it. Okay. I remember I can this stop the plant. Me every round. Heads up for us. Reload. He's on my smoke, so I'm not able to. One out four remaining. Sounds like the last one dropped somewhere. I think black top. He's in aquarium, aquarium, he's in aquarium. French it in. Hostiles eliminated. At the smoke, I just I just had to pop it so I could throw another one. I didn't mean to smoke him off. I thought he was still pink. Oh well. Frost is a beast, so it's fine. Power play. Power play to smoke my teammate so that Sophia doesn't know he's in my smoke grenade because who would do that right it's just it's so dumb that it works that's probably what it is um frost this guy just honestly killed everyone which is nice that's they're coming aqua every time and they're also going big window i think holding aqua here would actually be really strong now the question is how am i going to do this without getting absolutely pooped on you can and it's probably going to require a c4 way, you, us, you can at least protect us with armor so let's go mute that's we're going to go mute with the c4 that way I can fight big window, but I can also mute off all of Aqua, kind of play around there with a shotgun, maybe swing the Aqua Balk with a shotgun, uh, have a C4 so I can throw it from behind the bar to C4 the Balk. There's a lot I can do here with mute. Um, so yeah, we'll play some mute. And at the same time, I'm not going to get Doka be called. I'm not going to get Deimos trying, all that other like stupid shit that you have to go through. Mute is just such a great counter to so many things. So we're going to mute this. So that they can't drone behind the bar effectively. I'm gonna open the hatch so I can drop out if I need to. We're gonna put a mute jammer here so it gets this side of the door. And then we're gonna do a mute jammer here to get the opposite side of the door. Now, of course, they can just shoot these from the doorway. So I do have to play pretty aggressive. So I almost have to swing as they're trying to shoot the mute jammer. And the whole idea is I can play all of here. All my mute jammers are over here. And I can just waste time and try to like pressure them. Now, I can also do this little hole, which allows me to watch. Uh, the office walk in from above, which is nice. And Solus opening this is honestly not great for me. Because now don't be aware of the repel as well. I'm, I don't have a lot of faith in my Solus here. I'm going to pre rip this. Now, if I get naded, I'm dead. One drone mute in. Oh, we made up a J window. Main drone out of an window. I'm gonna try to slam this guy with the repellus. Aquarium. Two of them on the balcony. It's an Osa and someone else. It's Osa and Nomad. They didn't shoot default. There's two aqua uh, three aqua three. Three Oh, we had a default the cam, window. damn. He could have called the nitro for me. Bottom right. It's Unfortunate, great. I got triple teamed. I got naded from the roof, double flash, bead, and Osa shielded, so. They're all what can you do? I mean, teamwork is always going to be an individual play. I had to just really hope I won my gunfight there, and I tried, uh, but it didn't work out. As, like, they literally dumped all their util, and util is so strong in this game. That's the one thing that's going to get you. Two in, two in aqua, two in aqua. So, if you want to go underneath and stop the plant? Three in aqua, three in aqua. They're putting in those to shield. Yeah, you're gonna have to go below, bro. And use your ability. Friendly, last operator Hello? Wait, I don't think this guy's ever played Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege in his life, window, that's window, fine. Window, window, window. Uh, again, he can stop the plant from below. He is soulless. 
but because he's not going below, our teammates have to get really, really aggressive because they know the plant's not going to be stopped and our teammates are going to die. If our teammates don't have to play aggressive, they can stay alive and Solos can go below and stop it. But they couldn't, so our team had to try and push. Was that Papa? Because he's the one that didn't pick me up second round. Yeah, so. he's. I, d yeah. I just don't understand what's going on with him. Maybe he can't hear us. I don't know. That's our, our Ash main for you. But uh, we knew this from the start. We knew this from the start. He'd be like that. I'm going to play off this uh, Osa again. This Osa is really good. So uh, we'll just play off of him. I might hit the uh, Aqua Repel here. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Our our teammate is playing Ash Solus, but then not using their abilities. So, not not worth thinking about. I mean, worrying about that is not going to help us play better. And I'm only four and four, so let's not be talking. I mean, you know, I did throw my C4 a little early. Uh, I was just playing off the off the flashbang, hoping that they would be trying to push off the flash. But I could have probably saved it. I was a little worried of uh, not getting the opportunity to use it, so I used it a little earlier than I should have. I think. All right, they have a Jaeger, Goyo. Now I'm definitely playing the Twitch on this site. This is going to be great. I'm going to get all the Goyos, get the ADSs. Uh, there's a lot I can just do by just pressuring the site. So that'll kind of stop their main line of defense on the bomb site, and it should be easier for my whole team to succeed. So getting these Goyos, getting these ADSs uh, is going to be really good. Ten seconds to insertion. That also stops them from being able to just rely on their Five util to hold everything. Uh, plus they have my, like... I'm really going to try and get as much as I can. Get my Twitch drones in, pop a bunch of stuff, get them out, let them recharge, try to get them back in there. And then just work directly onto the site. Might be able to find a window of opportunity here. Again, careful the spawn peaks. This drone hole is sketchy too. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we'll leave our Twitch drone here and we can use the other one on like bathroom or whatever else we find here. There's no ADSs for that shield and service anymore. Get this around the corner. Let those recharge. Now I think you might actually have to... They should recharge on their own. Can you nade the shield sludge? Alright, I guess he heard me this time. Got us doing it. Oh right, Osa has me. There's one at that rotate. One at rotate. What's top main stairs? Soul is. Just going luggage. I'm gonna go work kitchen windows so they have to worry about that as well. Oh my teammates walking in, I'm gonna push with them. If you wanna play and I can cover you. There's two above. Playing on the bomb, maybe? I'm getting sprayed through the smoke, alright. Come to me, come to me, come to me. One's down on the rotate. I'm gonna have to get down right away, oh my gosh. I'm doing sight. Cross on the rotate, there's two kitsch. Can you go to kitsch window sledge? I'm on the rotate. He's gonna have to try to stay alive here. Still right here, Frost over right here. Somebody's gotta go catch window. I'm stuck in here. I'm stuck too. Fuck, it's Sledge. He's not listening to us. He's just sitting on this door. Or closed. No, he's on the reinforcement. He shot rope. He shot came. I'm holding the rotate. Four last nice. Last one's off. Punting, 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 punting. Protect me. Kitch, uh, bathroom, 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 bathroom. No, he's Kitch, he's Kitch. What is that call out? Oh my god. All right, he's in a 1v1 now. This guy's yelling at me, bathroom. Damn, that is unfortunate. I guess we cannot trust the Osa after all. Oh, he got it. Let's go. Good shit, teacher. Oh! Dude's really good individually, but the call outs, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I also heard him kitchen, uh, so I was. L That's fine. It doesn't matter. We won the round. We won the round. No point complaining. No point worrying about it. Next round, Honestly, overtime match point. How do we win lucky. this? How do we win because this? If he didn't we go billiards. Me, we got to kill this guy off of the window. I think I might have to play underneath and that's like kill. A, that's like a thirty percent. The big window guy from Sunrise. 
Especially peeking that angle. Did you just hear him bathroom? Like the sound was weird? Yeah, I thought I okay. heard him bathroom. I might have been nah, you here. Yeah, maybe. It's all good. We won. I'm sorry, dude. I'm just glad you won or I would have been pissed. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm bring the tubby DMR and try to fry this guy big window. Yo, if you yeah, let I'll me know when this guy's on big window, window, I can I can kill the guy big window if you let me know when he gets oh, on it. With the wrong operator. What the fuck? I'm not even gonna reinforce, I'm just gonna go kill this guy. I wanna get rid of these drones just so I can go there and kill the guy from Puka uh sunrise window. It's gonna be very important that they don't know that I go there to kill them. Can also prep the blue bar window so they have to worry about it. That probably is a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna reinforce these walls and let my team deal with the rest. I just went Tubro because he has a insane gun. That's literally it. Ten seconds. Op four is located. Ready for assault. Five seconds. This barricade blue. We're gonna really try to bunker down here. Hopefully, I don't get pushed through Kitch. I'm gonna barricade that off. I got a Rooney cramping my style here, so that's fucking great. Because this guy will not Reloading. listen to me. And now he's completely fucking up my entire plan. Which is fine. It's fine. We're just going to have to deal with it. Let's not get tilted. Uh, Papa Smurf again. Does... You can shoot this drone. He shot the default cam though. I'm not going to peek for a drone. Might be able to get an aggressive kill here. This is a really fucked up off angle. Already I'm good back. Yeah, it's lying again. I shot the drone for you, you're good. Now, do have to be careful of lobby. I think there's one kitchen, careful. Changing mind. Dude, this guy just fucking knows, man. I don't know. Nah, he's tracing me through the fucking wall. Tell me when they shoot, um... This line is cracked, bro. You have 90 cam? Sounds like someone's gonna go out. VIP. Also, it's an aqua. You have a Malusi, which is nice. I gotta try to stay up here. We have a Melissa there as well. Alright, but gotta play off the Mel's. If I play off the Mel's, I should be okay. I should be able to turn on this. Like hard. Where's my arm? He jumped down, he jumped down, he jumped down, he jumped down. Hit the foot. Stick it, stick it, stick it. Don't let go. Yep, thank you. Okay. Zanakwa. What is Papa doing? What are the calls, uh, dog? We have a Valcam. Bro, Papa sold, dude. He oh, why did you tell me to stick it? I could have, I could have totally slammed him. Fuck, man. Well, I didn't know that he was gonna peek you, bro. Oh, we have the Valcam too. It's all good. Just getting backseat gamed. It's unfortunate. Like the stick call is good if I'm actually able to stick it, but I can't hear the line because he's yelling at me to stick it. And of course my teammate is not covering me because it's my bad teammate. But if this guy doesn't tell me to stick it, I get can get off there, kill the lion, and win the game. Oh, so it's unfortunate because it's the combo of the two bad things that cost me to make the bad play. So I honestly probably should have muted him after the round before. Like his calls were just, they weren't actual call outs. They were more just like telling me what to do. And those calls are okay if they're accurate, they have to be accurate. Those are the ones that are very, very important to be accurate because trusting your team, especially coming from a comp background is, is oof, that's tough. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Unfortunately, we took two fat L's today. Uh, but yeah, if you didn't watch the first part, go over to my main channel, watch that. Thanks for watching. Peace out.